Okay, so here's your Dell Precision 370 Pentium 4. And so we're going to set the BIOS time and date. Sometimes these things won't work unless you have this set the correct time and date. And particularly if you're loading software on it or something and it's going to like freak out because you don't have the right date on it when particularly if you're hooked up to the internet. This one actually had a bad RAM chip. I had to pull it out because it kept beeping and I put another RAM chip in. And so it probably I'm going to show you how to set the time of day. So basically this one here is like up and down keys, right? Up and down. It's down, up, right? You set your time and date. You go here. And so enter to modify the... So let's press enter. And so this is... Uh, today is actually... It's January. So we need to go up, up keys. Okay, back, down key, okay, January. And it is, I believe, the 8th, so we just push the number 8 on the keyboard. And actually, that added something, so we're going to have to go 0, 8, and that'll work. And then we go uh, over key, and then we go... Uh, let's see, where do we go? Up, up, okay. So we just push push the up key. And we're up to the space age. And there we have it, we're set date. And we just press escape. Okay, now we press enter when done. Press enter when done. Now, No, we're done. Okay, so we press escape when we're done, and then now we have to go arrow over to exit, and then now uh, enter. And so start up, and this one. This one's got a problem. I'm not sure what it is. We've already set the time and date. We're going to press continue F1. Okay, so we're going to start in safe mode because this computer was a uh, resurrection from the scrapyard. See what happens. Blue screen. So. It's got some conflict with the Windows operating system. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and load um, let's see we could go into repair and there goes the phone. So try and load another operating system on it. A Linux, yeah. Let's try okay, Linux. So here's your Dell Precision 270. And we're going to try and boot it uh, on the CD, from the CD. So basically we push the F12 before it comes up. And we see the boot order. So basically we're going to go down to CD-ROM and press enter. And then so strike F1 key to continue, F2 to run setup. Okay, so we're just, we have a Windows, we're gonna press F1. We have a Windows Rescue, Dell Rescue disk in there right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to, well, it's asking to start Windows, it's not booting off the disk for some reason. We're going to start in safe mode, see what happens. 
Okay, we got blue screen. So there's a problem with the operating system and the har and some hardware. So for some reason it doesn't want to boot either from the CD. So let's try it again. We're off. On and an F12 to boot order. Then we go down keys. to boot onboard CD drive and then enter. So we've got some problem. So we're going to run setup. I, we're going to pass on the setup. We're just going to push F1 to continue. And for some reason, press any key to boot from CD. Okay, so we got it now. Sometimes you have to do this a couple of times. Don't give right up. Okay, so we got a window. We have a Dell Windows Rescue Rescue Boot. So we're going to run this. So this takes a while. What we want to do is hit R for repair after it after all this stuff loads up. All the stuff on the bottom. It'll ask you, do you want to repair or do you want to install? So basically what we're going to try to do first is repair it. So that's your tip for today. If you need any help, you can contact me at laptopsrepaired at yahoo.com. rqxlaptopservices.webs.com. Thanks for